Legend. This is round five. Eva Manyonga then trying to improve on third place here. The world champion. That looks good. Come on, jump on this one. All right, I just saw an episode of I Blew It and it really boggled me. How does a person blow 84 million rands under four years? I mean, if you think about it, a house can be up to 3 million rands. A car, maybe your dream car can be like a million, a million and a half, maximum 2 million. Then you've spent like 5 million already. And you were able to have 79 million in your account already. So how do you blow 84 million in four years? So that's the story of, you know, the uh, uh, silver Olympic medalist, Luvo Manyonga, uh, who's really done well for himself and done well for the country. You know, as a person that we looked at in great light with your, what a role model, what an inspiration. Uh, but unfortunately now hearing his story is rather, uh, disheartening you know it's 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 no laughing matter you know when these things happen to people i always have that level of empathy because i understand when you're not used to having so much money and suddenly you have all the money in the world you can sleep in any hotel host any party go anywhere be on vacation all year long it's not easy it's not easy but people need to understand that if you are using your resources and your money and there's no money coming in then you might end up on a show like i blew it because you don't have revenue coming in all the money is e extracted 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 there's nothing coming in so luva manyonga went on i blew it and he was telling his story and everybody's asking but okay yeah you were drinking and you know drugs and st so forth 84 million how uh, so he was renting out cars with 20,000 allegedly around 20,000 per day and because the cars would go back to you know the rentals uh ruined they'll charge him uh, like uh, an approximate amount of 100,000 for saying okay you ruined the car now we have to fix the car we, we're taking 100k from you and then um he did however renovate his house in pal you know in the western cape and luckily for him you know, I always say, as long as you can actually hide your head eventually, then that's wisdom. So I'm glad that he started by renovating his home in PAL before blowing the money. Because at least no matter what happens, he's got a place to hide his head. He's not in the street somewhere begging. You know, it happens, good people, it happens. So he spent on car rentals and then he was also renting hotels. Uh, for about 400k a month why not rent out an apartment in Santon for uh, like 20k a month why rent out a hotel for 400k a month you know if you if you really want that kind of luxury just rent an apartment you know 20k in Santon you know rent out a loft or a anything good people like i don't understand and then obviously um you know there was parties there was women yeah women they'll help you spend your money but at the end of the day you know uh what i like about him is that he's coming out to say look i messed up and i'm hoping to start again you know, I think one way of becoming a better person is when you're able to acknowledge that, oh, man, I blew it. I blew it. And I think that's why we have such a show so that people can really reflect and see that I I blew it. No, I blew it. You know, I blew my opportunities. But, you know, now being able to come back, I think maybe next time, because he still has talent, you still have the talent. And I think he still can be able to make that money back. Try think around investment. Th try think of having a financial advisor next time. Uh, try think about revenue coming in before you spend. That's why I always say, Mina, if I were to win a million somewhere, I would not spend it until I have, you know, a slow revenue on the rise that's coming in. That's wisdom. 
So if somebody gives me a million now, I'm not going to go and buy a house for a million or party for a million. I'll probably just maybe take 30,000, 40,000 for my enjoyment to say, okay, wow, in time, if you And then after that, I would actually uh, save it and try uh, invest it somewhere, some of it somewhere, start a business, something slow that gives me the assurance that even if the money is gone, I still have something that's going to keep generating revenue for me. I hope that, you know, if you are watching Luvo, you get this wisdom from me and I wish you the very best of luck. I am Zandi Wardle and thank you so much for watching. And Tana no Kibakaya.